I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother has asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of a Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the video as soon as we finish with everybody you know. This video first is going to be very short because we will go live again after we finish this video. So after we finish, please just uh, refresh your page and you will see another broadcast will start immediately after we finish this one. You know, the Muslims, they have uh, someone, his name is Zakir Naik, and he have 3 million point three subscribers. Now this guy, he kept talking about himself as a celebrity. And you know, always when somebody, he claimed to be a religious, a person growing a beard, and then he speak about himself as a celebrity, and he mentioned that by word, you know? You wonder, you know, like what kind of a, pro a person he is? I mean, celebrity, you know, I mean, are you a religious person serving God, or you are a celebrity? Celebrity, you know, obviously you are so proud of your numbers, but those numbers mean nothing, as I remember. You are a person who don't even speak Arabic, but yet you make fun of David Wood, and you say he is not from the same caliber you have. And we challenge you, and you said you don't challenge people, uh, you don't accept challenge to everybody, because you have to be from the caliber of Zachary Naik, but you are a person who don't even know how to read your prophet name. And you are the one who said that Hur mean <laughs> male and female, which is very laughable, not even a single Muslim agree about that. And I wonder why the Muslims are not, they are not exposing your lies. So I have a challenge for this man who he claimed that he is celebrity. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to challenge you to debate me. You know, you said in the, your video, last video he made two days ago, three videos ago, he said, uh, uh, you know, there is, there is some people, they don't even want to debate him because if they debate him, they will lose their followers. I guess this is your case, Zachary Naik. This is your case. Otherwise, you should accept. Because if you can defeat, you know, even one person for the sake of Allah, then you defeat whoever believe in that person or follow that person. Doesn't matter what religion is, his religion is. So you are being, you know, afraid and you are the one who is afraid to lose his uh, credit if you have any. However, I have a very simple question to Zuzu. And I challenge you Muslims to take this video for him. And I don't want him to talk about me, you know, this guy, he claimed that if you talk about a person, he will make him famous. My friend, you have no idea you are talking to who. My books are translated around the world in all languages. And if you go and you ask oh, who am I in Indonesia, you will see that every single Indonesian, Muslims and Christians, they know me. So we don't want you to make us famous. We want you to answer the question, if you are the man who have an answer. This is Quran, chapter 41. This is Quran chapter 41. And I'm not going to ask you to read in Arabic because you are a person who claimed to be a sheikh like Uthman, yet you do not know Arabic, which is very funny. So you want to teach us what the Quran means, but you are depending in translation and you depend in someone like me translate to you. How you can be a sheikh, that's really weird, huh? But if we go and read here in chapter 41, we will see this verse is saying that Allah created the earth in two days. Allah, he set mountains in the top of the earth after that and he made the blessing on it giving all the substance and the measure like grass trees etc and then Allah 
And here it says in the translation it says moreover, but in fact in Arabic it says thumma, and thumma is a is a is a word we use for something have a period, long period. And actually there's a guy in YouTube, he's a Muslim sheikh, he teach Arabic. You can go and search what thumma mean, and he will show you that thumma mean a while after, not just even after. So then we just change the translator. Look what happened. Then he 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 went to the star. To the to the to the sky, but if you keep changing the translation one after one, you will see how this translation go and get weird, because the Muslims are trying really to their best uh, to translate a book which is very funny and very silly. So, and then he lifted himself up to the heaven. Uh, I will go. I will go. I will go with this. You know. Then he lifted himself. So what happened first? Allah he created the earth and everything in the top of the earth. Secondly, he created the star, sorry, the mountains, and he put them in the top of the earth, which is very funny and scientifically is wrong because mountains is not coming from the top. Mountains is coming from the bottom of the earth and either they are a reason of a volcano or the pressure of between te two tectonic plate. And then after that, Allah, he lifted himself to the heaven and he started walking in the heaven. And it says here, and the heaven was a smoke. If you read the Mikathir, you will see Mikathir saying the smoke was coming from the earth, which means there's nothing in the heaven. And then... Allah, he made seven heaven, and then he decorated them with lamps. He decorated them with lamps. Actually, if you see the translation here, the word lamps disappeared. The guy, this guy translation here, he cut the whole sentence. All the lamps is gone. Look, there's no, there's no, there's no lamps. If you change, and this is why I say Muslim, they corrupt their book. If you change the translator, let's see to uh, Bikhtar, Muhammad Bikhtar. Uh... You will see, do we have lamps there or we don't have lamps? Yes, we have lamps, you know, you see? And then he ducked uh, 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 the heaven with lamps. So the last thing Allah, he did in this chapter is the lamps. What is the second thing Allah, he did in this chapter? He placed the mountains on the top of the earth. So the question to Zakir Naik, and I challenge every single Muslim to take this video to Zakir Naik. Ask him to answer you. You see, I, I know he will never dare to debate me. I know he is no match, and he knew that. But at least let him give you an answer. Tell him the guy, his name is a Christian prince, who his books are around the world, exposing the mistakes and the errors of your religion. If you are really a person who claims that nobody can debate you, I mean, this is a very simple question. And don't make a drama about it. The question is the following. Did Allah created the mountains first? And then the stars, as it shows in the front of us, in chapter 41, verse number 12. In verse number 12, Allah created the last thing, the stars. And the verse is so clear. After he finished everything in the earth of a creation, two days for the earth, I'm not going to talk about the mistake here of the two days and the four days, but let that. Two days to create the earth. And then four days to create everything in the top of the earth. This is six days alone, but this is not the question. Here it says, and then he placed mountains in the top of, of, of the earth. And then after that, he turned to the heaven, and then he made them, and the heaven was a smoke, which means nothing. And then he said to the heaven and the earth, uh, come both willingly and willingly, and, 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 and willingly, which is very funny because there's no heaven yet. But the main question is, here it says, the last verse, in the creation story that the last thing Allah he created the stars so can Zakir Naik answer a very simple question do you agree with the Quran that Allah created the mountains before he created the stars a challenge and all of you Muslim you will see that Zakir Naik will never dare to answer you know I don't want you to I don't want him to answer me this coward, he will make an excuse that he don't want to answer somebody because he will make him famous. I do not need you to make me famous. You have no idea you are talking to who. I want you to answer the Muslims because I'm using those verses and each time I use them, Muslims leave Islam. So I will, I will leave it in here. I will stop. And again, the question is, don't tell me Allah is creating them in the same time. The verse is so clear. Don't tell me that Allah created the mountain and the stars at the same time. People will laugh at you. 
The verses is so clear. Created the earth in two days. And then he placed mountain in the top of it. And he count how many days after he created the earth. And then, you see this your translation. And then he turned up to the heaven. And then, do you see the word then in case you are blind? And then he made them seven. And then, as we know, Allah, he made the stars in the lowest heaven. So, do you agree with the Quran that the stars are created after the mountains? If yes, let us know. If no, let us know. And then let us see how many Muslims will leave Islam. It doesn't matter what you say. You are going to be a loser. And this is why you will ignore the question. You will ignore the challenge. I'm not asking you to debate me because I know you are no match. I'm not asking you to even mention my name which is your excuse not to mention. I'm asking you to answer the Muslims who they are leaving Islam left and right when they see those verses. So do you agree with this or not? I will stop here and we will start going live in our second broadcast. And please download the video, share it in in in, in, in uh, 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 underneath of uh, uh, Zakir Naik in his Twitter, in his Facebook, wherever you can. Let this guy see and let all the Muslims see that there is scholar, he grow beard, just as a show. He don't even have a beard. He don't even know how to read the Quran. So how this person is going to teach you about Islam? And now we are going to go live and we will talk about something else he said, which is very laughable. So we will finish this broadcast and we will start another broadcast. And the broadcast will appear immediately in the stream for you after we finish this one. Prophet Muhammad was sent as a messenger not only to the Arab, not only, not only to the Muslims, sorry, or the Arabs. This is the statement of Zakir Naik. You will see that this is a statement to exposing Islam. How? Just watch with me and join me in the second broadcast, which is going to be a few minutes from now. And let me uh, put the broadcast live uh, so people can see it and make it visible because now it's listed as not listed. Um, and I will do that immediately. Thank you very, very much for being here and uh, just refresh your page after a few minutes and you will see the second broadcast and please join us and invite your friends. Thank you and God bless. Take care. All right, look like we went here.